The lymphatic system has two main purposes. Its major job is to maintain the fluid level in the circulatory system. Fluid loss due to capillary exchange occurs all over our body. So it makes sense that our lymphatic system reaches all the places in the body. The vessels and capillaries of the lymphatic system are intermingled with the vessels and capillaries of the circulatory system. Lymph vessels are similar to blood vessels. They have valves that prevent the flow of lymph back toward the capillaries. Also, like veins, the movement of skeletal muscles is needed to move the lymph along. In the process of returning the lymph to the blood, the lymphatic system plays its other role fighting infection. The cells involved in healing injuries and fighting infection are carried to the injury site by the blood in the circulatory system. The lymphatic system is used to remove any blood components that have leaked into the interstitial fluid because of the injury. On the way to the thoracic duct, the lymph passes through specialized structures called lymph nodes where a large supply of infection-fighting white blood cells are located. Inside a lymph node is a network of connective tissue. The holes in the network are occupied by white blood cells, which are specialized to defend against foreign invaders. As the lymph passes through the lymph node, the infectious agents, including bacteria and viruses, come into contact with the specialized white blood cells. The white blood cells recognize the invaders and begin attacking them. When the body is fighting an infection, our white blood cells rapidly divide, and the lymph nodes close to the site of infection become swollen. This is why the lymph nodes in your neck may become swollen and tender when you have an infection in your throat. There are many lymph nodes located throughout the body. We also have several special organs and glands that are important for the body's defenses. Many of the infection-fighting white blood cells are produced by bone marrow, the soft tissue inside of bones. The adenoids are glands located at the back of the nose, where the air passages join the passageways in the back of the mouth. Most infectious agents we breathe in are filtered through the adenoids and destroyed. The tonsils are located in the upper throat. They are thought to have a role in fighting infection early in life. Because there are so many sites of white blood cell production, doctors can safely remove any of these organs, such as the appendix or tonsils, with no adverse effects to the patient.